What we ultimately want out of this project is the ability to sell product, whatever that may be. To do so, we're going to use Stripe to accept payments. First, we need to install Stripe. In Terminal, close the server, type pip install Stripe, then type pip freeze. Stripe is now installed. Next, we need to create a new app. So type python manage.py start app checkout and go to stripe.com. First, you're going to have to create an account. But once you've done that, go to your main Stripe dashboard. From here, we'll be able to manage our Stripe account and user payments. Next, open try10 settings.py. Add Stripe and Checkout to installed apps. Save settings.py. Open up Checkout Views.py. We'll create a new view which will render our checkout form. So open Profiles Views.py. Copy Login Required right through Return Render. Next, you're going to paste everything. Open Profiles View.py and copy line 1. Then return to Checkout Views.py and paste it onto line one. Type checkout after def, then delete, and checkout.html. If the user is not logged in, they will be redirected to the login page. We need to create the template checkout.html. SRC checkout, create a new folder, call it templates. Then make a new file. Save it in checkout templates as checkout.html. Open templates profile.html. Copy all of profile.html. Then open checkout.html, paste, and delete user, username, user, email on line 5 and 6. Save checkout.html. We now need to make a URL for the checkout page. So open try10urls.py. First, let's import the checkout view. Type into line 23 from checkout import views as checkout underscore views. On line 29, copy the profile URL and then paste and add the necessary checkout parameters. Once you've done that, save urls.py. Open up your terminal and collect your static files. Once you've done that, you can open up Chrome. Make sure that you are logged out. And once you are, go to slash checkout. Login is required for this page to render. We'll be redirected to the login page, so you can go ahead and log in. Now we're redirected to slash checkout. The checkout page is blank. Go to the following Stripe URL. Once you're there, copy the form from the example code. Once you have that copied, open checkout.html and then paste the borrowed code in your content block on checkout.html. Once that's complete, go back to stripe.com. Scroll down to step one, collecting credit card information and then copy script type. Open profiles templates base.html and then paste all of the copied code right below placed at the end of the document so the pages load faster. Then add a new script block with a properly marked end. Open checkout.html. Similarly, add a new script block under extends base.html. Go back to the Stripe URL. Still from step one, 
copy script type equals text slash JavaScript, then open checkout.html and paste it in your new block. Once that's complete, you can save checkout.html. If you're viewing Stripe's documentation while logged in, Stripe changes the example code to include your API keys. This is our actual publishable key. Go to the dashboard, click your account, then account settings. You may be prompted to sign in. Click on the API keys tab. To reset the API key, click the arrows icon. Go back to your provided URL and make sure that you're signed in. Refresh slash checkout. We now have a credit card form. Open checkout.html. Type and add CSRF underscore token. CSRF stands for cross-site reference forgery. It prevents the other sites from submitting our site's forms. This is effectively here for the sake of security. Next, we want to add some bootstrap classes to this form while centering the form inside of a row. Within the content block, we'll be introducing divisions. By adding classes to our specified division, we're maintaining that bootstrap CSS will be properly applied. Once you're done that, you can save checkout.html and then refresh slash checkout. The form is looking a lot better. Hit submit payment. Nothing happens. Go back to the Stripe URL. Next, we're going to scroll to step two. We need to create a single use token. Open checkout.html, add a jQuery block. and make sure to add an end block, and then paste the jQuery function in between the two. Once that's complete, you can save checkout.html. We need to load this block of jQuery into the base file. So open templates base.html, and then type script, Below your last block. Below that, add document.ready function. Below this, we're going to add another jQuery block. Don't worry too much about this jQuery. Just know that this is loading the jQuery, which Stripe needs to work. Once you're done that, we can go back to stripe.com. We need to send the form to our server. So scroll to step three. Then copy the block of code provided. Open templates checkout.html. And we're going to copy that code in just above the closed script tag that can be found on line 7. Once that's complete, save and refresh slash checkout on your URL. Hit sub submit payment again. This time we get a prompt that says could not find payment information. Stripe's test card number is 4242 four times over. Then put in any three digit CVC number. Make up any future end date and hit submit payment. Nothing happens. Before Stripe will take my payment, we need to set up a few more things. In the next tutorial, we will continue to set up Stripe.